little boy. Come on, bud. This is the Wildlife Ambassador Center, and here we have over 200 animals, and they go to programs where the public could come meet our ambassadors, learn about wildlife and the habitats they live in. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite animals here is Kevin, and Kevin is a Palauan binturong. Yeah. So these guys, you can find them in Southeast Asia. They like to climb trees. Before I started working here, I didn't even know what binturongs were. It's not an animal that you see every day. It's always exciting when we show the binturong. <laughs> binturongs in the wild will eat birds, fish, and fruit. To help them catch their prey, they have sharp teeth and really sharp claws. Yeah, just let him walk up to you. Yeah. Just like you would vaccinate your cats and dogs at home, we vaccinate our animals here to protect them, but also to protect the visitors who come in contact with the animals. Okay, sticking. They get rabies, distemper, and tetanus. All done. So that's how you vaccinate an emu. Yeah. <laughs> Good baby. Something like the fennec fox. You could just hold him and gets his vaccine very easy. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> this is Kevin the Binturong's first time as an adult getting a vaccine. When he was a baby, we were able to hold him, but now it's going to be challenging. Good boy, huh? Yeah, good, huh? So we have to build a contraption. It's called a squeeze. Squeezes are like a modified crate and that's gonna securely hold Kevin while he gets his vaccines. You in here, Nate? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? So you wanna see the- Yeah, I'd love to. The squeeze, huh? Why don't you try it out? Yeah, that's smooth. Yeah. Am I gonna be able to pick it up? Oh, it's not bad at all. See ya. Thanks, Nate. To the next project. I'm getting fruit for Kevin because we're going to do a training session to get him ready for vaccinations. Kevin loves sweet fruit, so watermelon, grapes, bananas. Yeah. I just give him this whole thing. Why not? We're gonna introduce the squeeze to Kevin today. And the squeeze is like, it's intimidating. It's a big piece of metal. Jason, is this blanket gonna cover the whole thing? Yeah, I'm just gonna open it up more. Okay. His crate is dark inside, which he likes. So when we do introduce the squeeze, we're gonna put a blanket over the top. So maybe he'll wanna walk in there because it's dark inside. I think he's just gonna follow us. Yeah. One of the best senses for a binturong is their sense of smell. And if he sees something that he's not used to, he has to smell it first. <laughs> Kevin. He's really good with target training. So I just try to just target him to go down here. Kevin has never been in the squeeze before, but Kevin likes enclosed spaces, like his little hide box. I don't think the squeeze is a, a big jump from that, so I, I think he's gonna go in pretty easily. Let's go. I think he just needs to explore. Good. Let him go in, smell. That's good. He's not phased? Nope. Good. He's yep. in. See, it's not so bad. You did good, buddy. I didn't expect this to go so well. I think if you do this a few more times, yeah, one time it's not gonna be pleasant. He's yeah. gonna get stuck. But do yeah. it a few more times, he's gonna remember all the good times. Forget about the vaccine. Okay. He's a quick learner. Training an animal like a benturong to be comfortable in a squeeze can take a couple of days to a couple of months, depending on the animal's personality. With Kevin, he's really food motivated. He crate trained in a couple of weeks. Get me if you need me. Okay. Nicely close done. This in case you... Thank you. He's so cute. If the rabies goes really, really well, I'll just have this ready to give the next one yeah. right away so that we don't have to give like a little breather in between or anything. Okay. Yeah. okay. 
Then I should be good to go. Today, Kevin the Binturong is getting his vaccinations. So he'll get his rabies vaccination and his distemper vaccination. So right there is good. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, huh? I am anxious because you just never know how it's gonna like turn out. You know, working with animals is different every single day. Hey, Kevin. So you smell that, huh? Kevin, go on. Go on, buddy. You're stuck with my shirt. <laughs> the actual injection, I think he might react differently because he's actually gonna feel the pinch. Good boy. Nice. Nice. Good job, Kev. <laughs> okay. All right. I would probably just keeping it like around here. Okay, perfect. Do you want to pull the squeeze while okay. I grab the trees? That sounds good. All right, so he's in the position we want. I'm going to start moving it just slightly now, okay? And just see his reaction. Feet. More? A little bit more. But we're doing pretty good. He's fighting slightly, but I think this is the best we're gonna get. Touching. Very nice. And then I'll do the next one. Good. Touching. Good. Good job. Good, buddy. Yeah. Keep reinforcing him. Good, buddy. That was good, huh? Nice job. When they're really upset, do they vocalize? He screams. And you're like, ah! <laughs> yeah, <I feel> like <laughs> So even just him not doing that. It was good, yeah. yeah that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. That was not bad at all. Good job. <laughs> nice job. Thank you, Dr. Cheney. Thank you. I am proud of him today. Like, I just was not expecting him to do that well. He did awesome. Yeah, he did. 